Happy Tuesday. Today's October 1st. Yes. I can't believe it. It feels like the older I get, the faster it goes. So everybody says, wait till you're my age, right? <laughs> so, all right, we got lots of resident announcements today, so I'm going to hand it over first to Jan with the uh, Because We Care. Uh, yeah. Wait. Oh, hold on. A couple more coming in. That's okay. Uh, because we care for the jewelry sale every year, and we hope that uh, if you have some jewelry sitting in your jewelry box that you haven't worn for the last couple of years, you'd like to donate it and donate it to uh, Because We Care. There will be a collection of old jewelry that you're not looking for, don't use anymore. Uh, Wednesday, uh, October 9th from 10 to 12 in both lobbies, so you probably see them as you walk by as a reminder. Our sale is going to be actually on November 6th from 8 to 12. It's in the Grand Lobby South. It's always fun to go look. You always can find something that you just might want to have. I know I have. Um, if you'd like to um, help because we care and help to go through the jewelry and sort it out, we'd be more than happy for your help on October 16th in the Arts and Crafts Room between 1 and 4. We'd appreciate any help, either donations or help. Thank you very much. Right now. Yeah. Oh, yes. I am so happy to be here. Oh, I can't hear you. To be there. Yeah. Oh. Living here in Beaconsfield, how well we were taken care of. Yeah. Oh, so we, I'm looking at the TV this morning and all the terrible pictures that we're seeing you from this storm. And our employees here, really, some of them stayed overnight to be sure that we were taken care of. And we certainly had, had wonderful staff. And I hope you all remember them uh, and give to the Employee Gift Fund to show our appreciation for all that they do for us. Thank you, Eleanor. And I would like to say that um, as an employee here at Regency Oaks, you guys make it easy to want to come and be here. You know, other communities, it was like pulling teeth trying to get the staff to come in and spend the night. And here, everyone is always glad to help. So we had an A team and a B team of people to come spend the night in your business. I'll do both. So it was really no problem. We're happy to be here and serve you. Yes, absolutely. I, I just, I can't get over it how different our world right here at Richmond Sea Oaks has been for the last week or so than the rest of Clearwater and the rest of our country for that matter. Good grief. But moving on to another subject, I am so glad to see you all here today because we have a, 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 a wonderful event planned for you. For the first time in the eight years that I've lived here at Regent Sea Oaks, we are visited today by the League of Women Voters. All of these lovely ladies over here are here to answer your questions about what's going on with this with this shopping list of, of items we have to vote on this year. And I think you will find them very helpful and, and interesting. I specifically would like to introduce to you Barbara Lefton. She's been with the League for 10 years rounded up this group and brought them in here for us. And one of the things that she wanted to do and did do was meet Elaine Russell, who has a lengthy and storied career of working with the League over the years. And she's not our only resident who's done that. So stick around, folks. It's going to be a good meeting. Mike Murphy, do you want to come on up? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry for uh, my attire, but for those of you that know me, I am a huge sports fan, um, huge Mets fan, and they start their series tonight. So you know, wish me the best of luck, unless you're a Milwaukee Brewers fan, and then too bad. Anyway, I, I did want to just come up and thank you for your kind words, and thank you for your kind words. I just wanted to come up and you know 
tell you folks, um, I wanted to brag a little bit about not only my associates in dining services, but all of the other departments in here and how people are very, very dedicated to Regency Oaks. I've been here for almost nine years now. This is my, my passion. I love this place. We will always be here for you in any kind of disaster. I mean, you see what you see on, on the news, but if you're not, like, when you're directly impacted, now my, my uh, mother-in-law, who's wonderful, thank God, has now moved into my, my house because her place got destroyed on Sunset Beach. So it's, 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 it's really rough out there. Um, so uh, just try to be a good human being. And like I said, I did want to just you know, brag about our employees because they are truly dedicated. When I was walking around the dining room on the night of the hurricane, a uh, resident, I won't mention any names, told me about another community that apparently the whole kitchen staff just got up and left. <laughs> if it wasn't horrible weather, I swear I would have taken our guys after we finished service and go over there and help the folks out. But anyway, I just want to, if I don't say something, I feel like I'm not doing my justice. So anyway, have a great day. Love you folks. <laughs> Hey, Ricky, Ricky, I'm glad the Mets are there. So are the Phillies. <laughs> hey, don't go down that road. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. That's it. Thank you. I have a few things I just want to bring to your attention regarding flight risk, so if you bear with me for a minute. We just put our uh, most recent copy, quarterly uh, copy of the connection, our third quarter. Everybody should have had it in their mailboxes yesterday. There's some very, very good articles in there. So please read it. And I know I've had a request from Mr. Chet James. Anybody, when you're done reading it, don't throw it away. Give it to him. He's working on a project for Flightware, and he can use some of these. Thank you. But I just wanted to let you know that Flightware is celebrating their 35th anniversary this year. The... Uh, they are going to continue the advocacy with state legislatures to monitor proposed legislation that could have a positive or negative impact on residents. I don't think we really realize what we're talking about here. There is a lot of pieces of legislation that go through every year and they review every one of them and then report back to the residents by the weekly uh, uh, email that they send out as to whether or not they would be beneficial or negative, positive or negative, to the residents. Florida has term limits on its state legislature, so that means that there's always new policymakers that are in need of education about our organization and the desire of the residents. Our team in Tallahassee does an excellent job for us in staying appraised of all new legislation and in educating the new legislators. As you know, Flightbrick is a grassroots organization and the ability to run the organization comes from membership dues, which is the only significant source of income. 98% of their income comes from our dues. So it's very important that you not only join Flightbrick, but you continue to be a, a member of Flightbrick. We have the Flightworth State Conference coming up on October the 24th. We're very fortunate that it is here on the West Coast this year. It's only an hour south of us in Sarasota. We will be running a bus down. The bus holds uh, approximately 20 people, Ginger? 26. 26. So there are sign-up sheets in both the South and the North Building. So please sign up. I know it's early. The bus will be leaving at 7 a.m. The meeting starts at 9. It takes us a little over an hour to get there. We want to make sure we get in and get seats and everything. So it is open to all flight members. The key speaker of this uh, convention will be Tommy Gregory, President, State College of Florida in Manatee, Sarasota. And he is a former <coughs> member of the Florida House of Representatives. He will be focusing on health care education and health care worker shortages. So there will be the topics that they'll be discussing this year. Okay, I have one last thing. And Robin, if you would join me over here, please. Thank you. 
Flavor Chapter Board draws to a close, we would like to express our sincere gratitude for your service. Board service is one of the toughest volunteer roles, and you took on your board duties with dedication, grace, and seriousness. Under the leadership of our volunteer residents, Flavor is a recognized and respected voice before the legislature and state regulatory agencies. Your contribution to Flavor is priceless, and we appreciate the value you have bought, brought to the organization. Sincerely, Bennett Napier, Flavor Flight, Executive Director. I don't know how many of you you know, but Robin, she said earlier she's been here for eight years. She's been on the Flight Board for six years. I've spent five years on the board with her. And the one thing I admire about Robin the most is everything that Flightbird does, and she's been fully involved, she does for the best interest of all the residents of Regency Oaks. And that says a lot, because it takes a lot to be able to meet all those needs. Flight, uh, she's been a president, uh, a past, excuse me, treasurer, secretary, president, she's chaired the uh, election committee, the bylaws committee, She's just been invaluable to Flight Brent and to the residents of Regency Oaks. And thank you again, Robin, so much for your dedication and service to Flight Brent. Prior to 2 o'clock. 
So the pharmacy will not be able to run your insurance if you do not receive the forms to be able to get you know, the um, vaccine by tomorrow. So you will need to reschedule for the later date. Please do not arrive early. Plan to be in the lobby of the town hall at the time of the appointment you signed up for. So um, again, there's a few more, I think it's every Wednesday in October that they will be doing the vaccine clinic. So if you are interested and did not sign up, I think you still have a chance. Where do you turn in the forms? I believe to Kelly Clark directly. Okay. Or she's got a drop box outside of her office. I forgot when my time is. Are they going to post appointment times? I would say we'll call Kelly at extension 501. <laughs> She's put this all together. I'll find out more information for next Tuesday talk. They were on the tables, the medical tables, in both the north and the south lobbies. Oh, they're gone? Okay, we'll get more. So. All right. Then. If anybody sees Kelly, tell them we need more forms. I'd like to ask a question uh, about, you were talking about washing the windows, but what about uh, sealing the windows on the lanai? Because we were flooded inside the lanai. I will get to that in a minute. As soon as we get to the maintenance slides. Oh, here they are. <laughs> So Darla wanted to share, we did have 110 work orders completed, 51 are still open. Um, they've been working on replacing some HVAC units in resident apartments, which is the um, AC and heating. They are preparing, or they worked on preparing for the hurricane, topped off the, generator, the generators to secure all items. Um, they worked to remove the items on the knives and put items back. As a reminder, as you guys see storms are coming, we have to make sure to prepare by calling in those work orders to move things off your lanai prior to the storm coming. So if we're starting to get a lot of rain, you see that there's a storm coming, please put in your work order to move the things off your lanai prior to the storm hitting. If the storm comes, we cannot stop what we're doing around the campus to come to your apartments and move furniture off of your lanai. So we've got to prepare and plan uh, by putting those work orders in as soon as you can. Um, they did work on um, replacing the door sensor in the south elevator number two, so that is now up and running. And they currently have a ticket in for the north main elevator um, because what's happening is the elevator is working, and everybody knows that is our elevator that is on the generator, so it works. Um, we can use it, but what's happening is it's not lining up correctly with the floor, so it creates a tripping hazard. So as you get on and off, if there's a couple inch lip there, that's when residents can trip and fall. So we are asking everybody to not use it. We put the out of order signs on it, and we're waiting for the technician to come back and fix that so that it's lining up correctly. And I guess back to Elaine's question. Um, if you guys are experiencing water in your lanai and you need seals, that is when you need to call maintenance um, put in your work order, call extension 332, and let them know. So that's, they'll get you on the list so the next time they work on the windows, the ceiling, they have the lift truck, they will be able to seal those off at that time. <clears throat> so again, the Life Safety Project, they haven't been here on campus with the weather. Um, they will be back at some point, so we're continuing to work on the, the mapping. Um, hopefully we have mapped your apartments for the last and final time. But we will see that it's um, one of those things that the location needs to be pretty exact. And as kind of the project manager that's been leading this, um, I'm not gonna roll up the pendants until I'm happy with the locationing and that when you press your pendant, we'll be able to get to you quickly. So again, continue to use your old pendants until I release the new ones. So activities this week. So today, after the Tuesday talk here, we do have our League of Women Voters that are here to answer all your questions, review um, what is on our ballot. It's Tuesday, October 1st. We have the Soliniers performance tonight at, oh, oh that was canceled. Okay, not the Soliniers tonight. <laughs> Wednesday, um, we have October 2nd, will be the RO Dance Night at 7 p.m. in the Grand Lobby South. Thursday, October 3rd, is the Fitness Challenge Celebration. So 
Um, if you guys were on the, um, what is it, on the wagon challenge, and you did your calendar tracking your fitness and your exercise, turn that in ASAP. They will be announcing the winner on Thursday, so that is at one o'clock in the breezeway. Saturday, October 5th at 7 p.m. here in the town hall, we're gonna have Louie Bravo, the entertainer. So uh, if you guys are looking for something to do Saturday night, there will be the live music. And then due to the storm damage from Helene, the Columbia and Palm Pavilion are closed. So please check trip tables for new restaurant choices in October. The signups will be up tomorrow. I don't know if you guys have seen the pictures of the Palm Pavilion. It's pretty awful, so. All right, sales. So they announced that they ended the third quarter with 13 closes to a budget of 14. So they just missed it by one. Um, but considering the real estate market and the interest rates holding back folks from moving, they have recovered nine sales in one month. So they did a phenomenal job for the month of October. Sales is still ahead of the annual budgeted number by two, so great effort from the sales team. And then please share with Lauren Hawk, the event and marketing specialist at Extension 389, any positive comments you have after Hurricane Helene regarding the way we all rode through the storm together. So again, we had Ricky graced us with his presence earlier. Um, we got a couple things on the calendar coming up. For May will be October 9th and the 30th. Wine Club is Tuesday, October 15th. Beer Club is Tuesday, October 22nd. Tony's Italian Night will be Wednesday, October 16th. And then don't forget to book your brick and vine experience for the holidays. So and I think we do have a lot more coming up for the month of October, some special events, our anniversary party. So we will share that more on that as we get closer. And then just follow up. Um, yes, I think everybody knows Lindsay is on vacation. She made it to Greece. So she will be out until October 11th. Um, they did present the 2025 budget um, last Friday. That's nothing's been finalized yet. That's usually they wrap it up about the end of the year, sometimes even in January. As soon as we get that information, we will pass it on to the residents so you can review it as well. Again, North Elevator Repair is still ongoing while we're waiting for the leveling. Um, pendant project still ongoing. That's, they have not received the approval for the CapEx project request. They'll get that at the end of the year when it's been approved and we will let you know at that time. We are still recruiting for a sales counselor. And then we did hire the certified dietary manager for healthcare. That means um, once that person's in place, Dustin will be able to transition and become our um, food and beverage associate director full time. Again, you know, I think we've all seen there's more storms that are working out there, so we're keeping an eye. Um, again, I follow Dennis Phillips, and if he's saying rule number seven, don't panic, I am not panicking. So it's still too early to tell what is happening out there. But again, it's important to prepare. I know um, a couple of residents like the quote I put in the last Tuesday talk flyer, so um, I wanted to show that again. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. So again, you know, if we know these storms are coming, don't wait till the last minute to get your supplies, to pull things off of your lanai. Um, we wanna make sure that we're prepared and ready to go ahead of time um, as there's just more activity out there. So don't let our guard down. That's I know at my house, I lost power for a couple of days and I wasn't there, I was here with you all, but I was told that my lanterns had corroded batteries and they did not work. So I didn't check them because I knew I would be with you. So again, just make sure we check those supplies, make sure everything's working okay. And then lastly, we did want to share that LCS, you know, which is our management company, the overseas region CEOs, they have communities that they support throughout the country. So one of the things that they've done is set up the LCS Foundation. And the LCS Foundation supports employees in need. So this is for emergency relief funds. Um, they provide financial support to all LCS employees who experience an unexpected hardship, including the hurricane. So if you would like to learn more about the foundation or donate, the website is www.lcsfoundationlcs.org. So I will put that in the Tuesday Talk Flyer so you guys can research a little bit more. Um, so we have had or residents that have reached out and said, you know, what can we do to help? Um, that's, you know, we're saying this is one way that you can make a donation or the employee gift fund. You know, again, 
you, you know, we're glad that you want to show your gratitude, but unfortunately, you know, we cannot accept your gifts directly from you. So this is what you can do to show your support to the employees. All right, and any questions? Um, a number of us were wondering, did Lindsay suffer any damage during the storm? I know she's close to the water. She is. Um, so throughout the storm, she was in constant communication with her husband. He stayed at their place. And, um, you know, I think she was more worried about getting to Greece. <laughs> so every time I asked about the house, she was like, well, we're trying to check in at the airport. <laughs> gone pretty well. If not, she's going to worry about it when she gets back from Greece. <laughs> so, that was a big priority in her life, was working on those passports and getting to Greece. So. Betsy, I'm just curious. I don't really understand this mapping, okay. but, they, uh, but they've come twice now, and they've not mapped the Lanai. It's not supposed to be. No. Um, so what is happening, the first time that we mapped, um, I got the results back, and I have like my own test pendant, so I can walk around campus and, and test it out and see where it's telling us you're at. And when they were on, or when I was on the, the lanai and I pressed the button, it pressed, it picked up too many locators. So it would say you're here, 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 or here. <laughs> and so with the redoing of the mapping, let's do it in a second time, it was to narrow down. So they put all these locators throughout the campus and those are to tell us, you know, where you're at. And because we're 40 acre campus, campus there are so many of them out there. So the, what we did is we had to kind of narrow them back, make sure that the, the signal wasn't as strong. And then they remapped again so that now when we push the pendants, um, hopefully it'll say, you know, bath and apartment N502. Um, you know, and give us an exact location versus you could be here, here, or here. So we're trying to really make sure it's specific and that when you push that pendant, we know if you're in your apartment, you're out walking your dog, you're in the pool, we need that exact location. So that's the point of kind of mapping the campus and learning the uh, boundaries of the apartment. So when they remapped, we learned that when they went to the lanai, it was too close to the windows and that's when it was getting too many signals. Does that make a little sense? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. God forbid, I felt little and Yes. They would, they would know because they're, they're mapping me. Exactly. So, um, and it's not a specific, I know at one point um, it had come up that residents <clears throat> thought that it would say exactly where you are in your apartment, and it's not that specific. It's just kind of setting up the perimeters of one apartment to the next. It's not going to say if you're in your living room, your bathroom, your lanai. It's just saying you're in your apartment. Thank you. You're welcome. I understand Lindsay's boss, Chill, has lost her home. Is that so? It is true, yes. Um, are they okay? She's okay, so she's, um, I don't know if I should announce this, but she's visiting us <laughs> um, while she gets her home straightened out. That's, yeah, the people that were on those barrier islands, you know, they, they lost a lot. The water came into their homes four or five feet deep. So that's, in, you know, I think there's those of us that survived um, our Regency Oaks fire in 2021, that the fire itself was not the damage, it was the water. You know, we had 40 apartments that had water damage, and that was, you know, worse than any of the fire damage that happened here. So, um, unfortunately, when you have water like that in your place, there's just so much remediation, you know, that needs to happen between going through your belongings to, you know, the drywalls, the floors, the lower cabinets, just so much loss. So, you know, the good thing is, is because, you know, we're such a big campus and there's so many communities in this area, that um, we can offer housing to our employees that you know, may be displaced for a little while. So we do have lots of visitors on campus for a little while until they can get some more long-term solutions figured out. Hi, it's, uh, we noticed that you talked about the Lenox, yes. but what about the windows in the bedrooms? Great question, I did forget to address that. 
So um, what it is, is if you are having any issues with your bedroom windows, any leaking, reach up to maintenance directly. Um, that's, I did talk to Darwin this morning, and um, what we have done in the past is the more people that want a product, the more that we can buy, sometimes the bigger discount we can get. So if you're interested in replacing any of your windows in your apartment, please reach out to Darwin directly or extension 332 in maintenance. Get your name on a list. You know, he's going to be handling this himself, he said. And then he can kind of price up windows, get some vendors in here for some quotes. So if anybody <coughs> needs to upgrade, this would be a good chance to, you know, bring it to his attention so that, you know, we'll get you as part of the, um, the group that's interested in replacing windows and hopefully get some kind of a bulk discount. Good. But the, uh, our windows need to be sealed now, especially with the upcoming storm. We put a work order for that. Absolutely, yep. Yep. And you can, yes, work order is always the best way. Call 332. Or if you guys have the Regency Oaks app, you can email Darwin with a one touch button. So that's when anybody says, I'm trying to get a hold of Darwin. There's also the Maintain with Maintenance at, uh, what is it, 10 o'clock in the South Grand Lobby every Friday. Uh, speaking of that, um, for the past couple of months, I've had work orders and emails and whatever I could do toward the leaking on my alarm with the windows. <laughs> and the response has always been, we're expecting the lift in two to three weeks. And that's been over the past couple of months. Do you know anything about, I mean, is it, it must be hard right now to get a lift, considering everything that's going on. But do you know anything about how long it will actually take? It's been two to three weeks for the past two months. Okay. I believe we've always done it traditionally at least twice a year. I want to say May and October. So let me follow up now that we are in October to see if we can get more of a specific date and then urge everybody to get your name on that list because, again, we only do this a couple times a year. So if you miss your opportunity, you don't get your name put on the list that you need your window sealed, then it won't be till the springtime maybe. The morning after the storm, there was a young man that stopped at my apartment and looked at what was leaking. Now, do I have to make a separate work order, or is that automatically on his list? I would still put in a work order just so we have the documentation of it. Um, he probably um, took notes of what's going on, and especially there's different scenarios. Some people have vinyl windows. Some people have glass windows that turned out to be leaking. So they're kind of different um, vendors that are coming in to work on the issues. So I would follow up and just make sure that you're on the list with um, maintenance to do the, the sealing as well. Thank you. I forgot something. <laughs> I just wanted to let everybody know that Lightbird uh, Program Committee has reached out to the Florida Attorney General's office. And we will have a speaker here on Thursday, October the 17th at 11 a.m. And it's going to be about uh, crime projects and versus seniors. So there will be a speaker from the Attorney General's Florida from Attorney General's office here at that point. Say again what that is for. It's for the uh, seniors versus crime project. He just sent me his bio this morning. I gave it to Ginger so she will be coming out. Okay? All right. Cynthia, you guys have all loaded me up with questions. Oh, there was more. So. Can we get an actual date on when they're going to repair those on I? The actual date? Yeah, let me work on that. Um, like I said, there's lots of different vendors involved. And I know, Cynthia, I was at the desk yesterday when you called, so I will follow up with your apartment specifically as well, as well as get the date as to when they'll have the lift truck to work on the ceiling for some of those higher apartments. Well, the only reason that I'm, I'm asking for a specific thing is the last tropical storm, uh, I'm, you know, no repair. And so I don't want to place another one because obviously you're here. it's getting worse. By storm. Yeah. Storm. Got it. Okay, let me follow up and see what the plan is, and hopefully I'll have more information by next Tuesday's Tuesday talk. All right, thanks, Cynthia. Last call. Any more questions? All right, thanks, guys. Stay for the uh, Women's League of Voters here next, okay?
Thank you.